okay today what we are going to see is that layouts and some view properties we are going to see something called as layouts what do you mean by different different layouts we'll see that thing right and let me create new module of the relative layout I'm going to call it as relative layout see relative layout next next and finish what I want to do is that I want to create one layout design I want to create one layout in this fashion so if I am having this phone I want to create one button over here I want to create another button over here then one here then another here then one here right then build above this one button left of this one button right of this one button and below this button center you can see or you can sit like that so you will see properly right if you are not comfortable and I want to create layouts something like this you can sit in the two rows no problem you can sit in the two rows okay so I want to create layout something like this if you observe this all these are relative to the parent at the parent top parent top right parent top left parent top right then parent bottom right sorry parent bottom left and parent bottom right this is center in the parent right and these four are something different below of this button right above this to right of this to left of this and below this center something like this means relative layout is something like that what you can say first thing according to relative position of parent of parent or right relative position of another views relative position of other views of this or other views remember that okay now let us create something like that so our project module has been created let me show you something like this so here is the preview let me remove this what you can say text view now I want to create one button at over here another button at over here another button over here and just above me this and at the center over here right then one over here another over here that's what I have drawn in the paint like this I want to create something like this okay now I am going to go on adding some layouts see button I can say wrap content and wrap content wrap content and wrap content can you see one button has been created over here it is by default at the top left now I want to create one button at the top right I am copying this and you can say align parent right just make it true by default it would be at the top right by default it would be at the top now I want to create one button at the bottom left remember that what I am saying bottom left let me copy this thing which is nothing but the top left right which is nothing but the top left and you can say align parent bottom align parent bottom and say simply true here you can say true can you see one button has been created over here okay now align parent bottom true and right 
align parent right say true right you might be getting one button over here so I cannot reduce this but here you can see there is one button right there is one button created you can trust me <laughs> there is one button created okay now I want to have one button exactly at the center so I would be having one button this and I'm going to say center in parent true exactly at the center so if you see this layout this will look like something this right now let me run the code and show you what happens so here you will find the four buttons which are aligned in this manner right now next thing I want to add these things relative layout is the fundamentals of the constraint layout if you want to work with the constraint layout constraint based layout that is the responsive layout design relative layout is extremely fundamental to that remember that we are going to deal with that right constraint layout I am going to show you how constraint layout works okay but this is nothing but your simple relative layout which with which you can achieve maximum things see this so this is button this is also button this is also button this is also button this is also button right now I want to create one button over here then another over here another over here and another over here means these four buttons are dependent on the center button these four buttons are dependent on the center button and that's why let me give one ID to this button ID at plus ID BTN center I have created one button at the center okay I would be having one more button let me have our simple button over here right now to left of center what I'm saying to left of center see how left of what you can say at ID now you are not creating ID you are just referring to that ID remember that here you are not creating you are just referring to that ID and that's why at ID observe this thing I have not written plus over here I'm just referring at ID and you can say BTN center see one button has been created but over here right can you see one constraint over here see this one line is there now I want to take this button over here very simple anyone can tell make it center in parent true something like this okay similarly to right off I can have this is a two left off and now you can have two right off this to right of this now above center in parent will remain as it is and you are going to say just above and again you are going to say instead of right of you can say below below you will use relative layout whenever you need such things you will use linear layout when you need to arrange the views from top to bottom or left to right vertical orientation and the horizontal orientation top to bottom or the left to right or you can have mix of both that we'll see how to create mix of both in the next lecture or next tutorial is that fine so this is how you will align the views you with the help of relative layout now in the next tutorial we are going to see something related to view visibility and some view what you can say measurement units in the next tutorial right so keep watching